תאמין בעברית במשך הערב. רבי קרמי סמפריז. Rabbi Kalmanson, if you would like to say that he, by surprise, he said he was supposed to go back today, he came to Asimcha yesterday, he was supposed to go back, but he stayed there of the request of the Gaboyim, and that's why he did not bring his Siddish Kapot to him. So please excuse him. I'm a spear for a gold green glass. When he saw me the first time after my wedding with a jacket and not with a capote, he told me, Kabbalamu Gibusta Mashiach had given in Kalsen. I guess I'm fulfilling it today. <clears throat> Everyone knows, L'chaim, L'chaim. יחי אדינינו מרינו ולאבינו מלך המשיח ויהי לו מבואי. Everyone knows that Mexico City is known as a religious Christian community. And it once happened The two beggars sat down in front of the Havdala church trying to collect some money. One is Chavegi Zetzach with a little box and in front of it he had Havach Atzalem. And the other one sat down next to him and he had a Mogen Dovid. Verstandlich that the people that were going out of the Tifla were throwing their money into the other guy's box. At the end of the service, the Galach walks out and he notices the, the thing. He walks over to the Yidala and he says, Don't you realize that you're sitting in the wrong place with that Morgan Dovid? Maybe if you would have put on a Salem, you would have been a lot better off. So the guy with the Morgan Dovid turns to the fellow with the Salem and he says, Yes, I'll give a cook that letter and send into the business. Lately, we live in a world where everybody seems to be telling Chabad, Lubavitch, our business. But as well as the Chachabrengen from Hey Tavis, Yidad Notzach, it's a Chachabrengen so we can speak quite frank. And for anyone that expects me uh, to, to, to sit and to pat back, I'm making a big mistake. We have to ask ourselves the question, how could it be We have to ask ourselves the question, how could it be that people should be able to, in our day and age, write books against Lubavitch, against Mashiach of Giyula, against everything that ever stands for, and yet, at the very same time, aim praise the tell Mitzvah, as it ever says. Lately, there's been a new phenomenon. Lately, there's been a new phenomenon where there is an individual who is a Rosh Yeshiva. In a Yeshiva in Baltimore. I think until lately probably nobody even knew that he existed. But all of a sudden, he came out from the woodworks and wrote a two-page letter Interesting that in the beginning of the letter, he sees himself. He starts the letter, Benegea, to the question that you asked me in regard to the Meshachistin, 
let me tell you that I'm not a poisic. The loy me tell me they hunt. However, he writes a two-page letter. And at the end of the letter, he added in his own shaviyad that you could be misfouse in this. And in the letter, he writes the following. The negated the Elokistin, he writes, they are not even Jewish. There's nothing to talk about. And then in regard to the so-called Meshachistin, although you can't say they're not Jewish, he writes, you can't rely on their Piskidinim. You can't rely on their Kashrif. And no one should go to listen to any of their discussions because everything that they say is Hefech Das How could someone write a thing like this in today's day and age? And all of us go to sleep at night Either we're not even aware of it, or no one feels the responsibility to take these people off. How can a thing like this happen, one should ask himself, especially today? And they go away quite free about it. But I think the answer is quite simple. The Rebbe says that Chabad, Lubavitch, is a microcosm of the world. Everything that happens in Lubavitch is reflected in the world. And this is something that if anybody would only pay attention, we could have seen this quite a while ago. If one wants to know why are there wars in the streets, take a look in our own circle. If anyone wants to know why is there ethnic cleansing in the streets, take a look in our own circle. And if anyone wants to know why can anyone write such kind of a chutzpah, the words in regard to Lubavitch Bechlau, And a book against Lubavitch as was done, again, take a look in our own circle. If we could take a look for a minute as to what is happening in our own circle in the last few years, and I know it's not pleasant to discuss, but sometimes our endless Nitin Lehi Omer, maybe, maybe we will be able to walk away from, with something positive here this evening. Years ago, if a Shoichet just thought of donning, of putting on galoshes, Kaloshen, He was already removed from Shita. We didn't trust this individual any longer to be our Shaykhah. We felt that this person has been inundated with progressive thoughts in his mind, and as such, one can no longer trust him as a Yiddish Shemayim. 